Here we have the new 100 kV powder system. And here's the system with the optional five pound fluidizing hopper, which we're gonna show how simple it is to hook up and use. The components include the vent hose, powder feed hose, airlines, ground lead, fitting, and the powder pump. The fluidizing hopper consists of a vessel and the fluidizing membrane. There's a fitting below the membrane where compressed air is pumped into it. The air then filters through the membrane and fluidizes your powder. This is what gives you the even dispersion and mixing of powder. The included instruction manual gives a very detailed diagram here of how to hook up the powder hopper. I'm gonna show you in a little bit faster motion here, the same thing. Assembly is very straightforward. Uh, insert the vent hose into the hopper lid and tighten securely. Insert the powder pump into the central port and then uncoil the air lines. Try and straighten them out. And what you wanna do is cut them into thirds. We're gonna be using three of these lines for the remaining three ports. Now simply remove the ferrule nut and install the nylon lines on the gun air, dosing air, and fluidizing air port and tighten nuts securely. The last three connections are pretty straightforward. Your gray barrel nut there for your gun electronics, your ground lead, and then your AC input cable. Remove the fluidizing fitting install the eyelet for the ground lead and tighten securely. Now you simply want to hook up gun air to the lowest port on the powder pump, dosing air, which will go to the remaining port on the powder pump, and then your fluidizing air, which goes to the only fitting on the hopper itself. Assure before use, you connect the ground lead from the hopper to the ground terminal on the rear of the machine. Fill hopper with about two pounds of powder and add 40 to 50 PSI of air to the rear of the machine. With both KV and milliamp turned to zero, slowly increase fluidizing regulator until you see a slow boil, almost like tomato soup, of the powder. Insert lid, assure all clamps are secure, and move on to the next step. With the gun trigger depressed, go ahead and slowly increase the gun air pressure regulator until you get a nice plume of powder coming out. Adjust KV and milliamps at a quick start guide on top of the unit, or approximately 65 KV and 25 microamp for your first coat. Our 100 KV system also offers a third dosing air regulator circuit. This is where you can add a little bit more air pressure into the powder flow to get that into some deep recess areas on your part. So our new 100 kV system is basically a set and forget. It's full time fluidizing so you don't have to worry about that. Just make sure you have a good ground. Go ahead and start powder coating. So for more info on the 100 kV system or any other Eastwood product, go visit eastwood.com.